Um, let's bring in Nicole Johnson, uh, who is normally based in Australia. Um, she joins me now. Uh, Nicole, you know Sydney well. Uh, this would have been a very busy shopping centre at a very busy time of the day. It really couldn't have happened at a busier time of the day. 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon on a Saturday, that shopping centre would have been absolutely packed and I have been there in the past at that time. And as you just heard, it is multi-levels. It's also multi-blocks. It spans more than one block, uh, you know, stretching across a sort of really wide area, hundreds of shops and restaurants in there, multi-level car parks. So the police and the SWAT teams that are on the ground there trying to secure the area, trying to get people out and eliminate the threat, whatever that threat exactly is, we still don't really know. We're waiting to hear from the police. Well, they would have a very big task ahead of them. Uh, we've heard the reports of how chaotic and terrifying it was for people trying to get out of there. Uh, we just heard from two people at the beginning of this hour, just the sheer panic, you know, clearly still in a great deal of shock. Obviously, I'm getting messages from people in Sydney, people talking about what's happening. It's now reaching the evening in Sydney and in across Australia when people are turning into the evening news bulletins, watching what's happening and what's unfolding there. We are waiting to hear from New South Wales Police. There has been a short statement from New South Wales Ambulance. They have said that a number of people were stabbed, including a nine-month-old, and those people, it seems to have been seven people stabbed that we know of, have been sent to multiple hospitals across the city. There was also a short statement uh, from uh, Waverley Council. That's the council for Bondi, Bondi Junction and Bondi Beach in control of that area. They're now waiting to hear what the police have to say, but basically telling people to stay out of the area, uh, to get away. It is a very busy area on a weekend, not only because of the shopping centre. Uh, Bondi Junction is a densely populated area with big apartment buildings. It's close to Bondi Beach, Coogee, you know, these iconic Sydney sites that are popular not only with locals but also with tourists. So you get a huge amount of traffic on the weekend, almost to gridlock often, going from the beaches into the city, into the western suburbs, sort of crisscrossing that area to in enjoy the sort of stunning views and beaches that you get along there. But clearly a terrifying afternoon has unfolded in Sydney. I, I just read one report from a sound engineer who was inside the shopping mall when this took place. He said that someone was able to lead them uh, to a secure area. I, I don't know at this stage whether that was a, a shop assistant or police. So there will be all sorts of stories coming out because hundreds of people have clearly been you know, uh, stuck in the sort of horror of what's been taking place at Bondi Junction.